pretty cool. The woman goes into labor on Labor Day. Yeah, and not only that, Byron, but the baby came before she could head to the hospital. Well, Fox 10 News' Brendan Kirby talked to mom. He's here in the studio tonight. First of all, mother and baby are okay, right, Brendan? Yeah, they're doing great. Jordan Jones and her newborn are resting comfortably at Children's and Women's Hospital. They made it there, but not the way they expected. Definitely an unforgettable experience. Um, not the way we planned it. Jordan Jones has given birth twice before, so she figured she had some time when she started having labor pains. But little Cash Sykes wasn't waiting. Definitely faster than we expected. Um, we were getting our other kids ready to drop them off at my parents' house. We knew we were in labor, but we didn't think, you know, the baby was coming right that second. But come he did. Jones's husband, Kyrie Sykes, says he didn't tell her he saw the baby's head pop out. He told her there wasn't any blood. I was telling her that so she can be calm. I basically had already, the baby head was right there when she said that. Sykes says he was on the phone with paramedics trying and failing to keep calm himself. Basically, when she had a contraction, the baby came out, the head came out, and I saw the head, and then I started panicking. Last month, Fox 10 News told you about the birth of Kaylee Viger in a car while her parents were on their way to the hospital in Pensacola. Jones didn't even make it that far. Her other two kids, a seven-year-old daughter and two-year-old son, were also in the house. Kendall Amson says that she was on her iPad and delivered the news to her grandmother. I was immediately shocked. <laughs> For Jones's mother, Gwendolyn Jones, this was grandchild number 13, coming just days after number 12 and a few weeks before number 14 is expected. Close calls run in the family. She recalls having one when she was pregnant with Jordan. So by the time I got over to the hospital, she was born, Jordan was born while I was getting on the elevator at the hospital at Spring Hill. And Jordan and Cash are going to stay overnight at the hospital as a precaution, and then the growing family will be reunited. Reporting live in the studio, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.